What up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. Real quick video today, uh, but I want to show you guys something really uh, uh, cool inside of Logic. If you've ever uh, tried to export stems, maybe to send to a mix engineer, uh, maybe to send to uh, another producer or just to you know, upload to a uh, website where you're selling your stems or whatever the case may be, uh, and you export your stems and, you know, you you know, you send them out to an engineer and or you put them in a fresh session and they look like this. You know, you've seen this before. You know, you got waves that aren't uniform looking. They're uh, they're cutting off in different places. They're doing all of those things like that. You know, they stop here. They stop there. You got one that stops here, one that's stopping there, so on and so forth. But you want those nice uniform waves that just cut and look clean and not only that um the volume is you know comparable at a comparable level level you don't want your uh volume to be yeah. two three four db you know what i mean when an engineer or whomever the your, your client or whoever gets your files uh there so let me show you a couple of real quick settings inside of logic to export your stems perfectly okay so when you want to export stems in logic first you want to hit command shift e that exports all tracks as audio one main problem that people have is they have this setting turned on which is trim uh silence at file in so what that does is real quickly without getting too geeky it as soon as a file or region ends in your session, it automatically truncates that file. So that's how you get the small, small files. You want to change this setting to um, either export cycle range, which you can set a cycle range. Your cycle is this thing, this little yellow bar, your loop bar, the loop brace. Some people call it different things, but it's this. That's your cycle. Uh, you can set that and it will export the tracks all the way to the end of that cycle that's one great way to do it another great way to do it is what i like to do is extend to project in because sometimes the cycle you know you don't want to do cycle in you want to do uh project in so as you can see uh i got waves that end even in my session in different places so you can see that uh the song actually ends like here right where the drums or my drum tracks end so what i want to do is is actually run over here and grab my up here at the top my little project my project you know brace or whatever and just bring it here to where those waves end i can turn off my cycle and then i can go back in here and then i turn it to extend the project in that's going to export them all the way out all of your waves are going to be uniform we're going to look at that in a second now the next mistake that a lot of people make in terms of like your volume and messing that up is they don't uh, check this box, which is include volume and pan automation. Now, another one is bypass uh, effect plugins. That can be useful if the engineer or the person that is requesting your files uh, wants their com their files completely dry. No reverb, no nothing. Just send me the bone dry files. Then you want to bypass your, your effects. But, you know, I'm going to assume that most of us like the effects and we're going for those effects. And we want those to be included. So I don't mess with that. So in checkbox, uh, include volume automation. And also, here's the most important thing. Here's the most important thing. Make sure you turn normalize off. Most people have it on overload protection, but turn it off. What Normalize does is going to add some gain to your files uh, at the end, and that's not what you want or whatever. So once you've kind of gotten that done, we'll just create a folder, test or whatever and put that in there and then we're going to export these files okay so now we have exported those files we're going to take these and drag them into a fresh session here in logic uh, and boom as you can see now we have those beautiful uniform waves that any engineer or producer or anybody who gets your files is going to want to look at uh, they're going to look nice and pretty uh, and then uh, lastly um, you see our volume should be pretty cool on so we don't have any hard peaking anymore like we had before so i think that's a win in my book uh that's how you export stems uh the proper way outside of uh logic i uh, hope this video helped you hope it blessed you feel free to drop comments down below let me know what you think about it hit the like button the share button drop a comment do all those things subscribe turn on notifications i'll talk to you guys on the next one i'm out holla at your boy